Hi everyone, it's Kayla, alias Cheeky and Fleeky. Welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year! I know we're already two weeks into January, but I wanna talk about New Year's resolutions, goals, how to maintain them and stay motivated throughout the whole year. The new year is a great time to try new things, so I'm changing up some stuff in my diet, my fitness plan, and even my beauty routine. Let's start with a clean slate, wave bye-bye to 2020, and leave behind everything that is no longer serving you this year. If that means you have to cut people out, do it. If you need to cry a river, that's okay. Just build a bridge and get over it. This past week, I have been going through a little bit of an adjustment period because I just came back to Maryland from being home for two weeks. I've been cleaning, but I've been eating healthy. I've been working out every day. I'm really focused on these goals. And honestly, I already see changes in my body, my spirit, my mind. So I just want to share with you guys my regimen. You guys don't have to copy everything that I'm doing exactly. Just take whatever serves you. Before we can get really focused on our goals, we need to cleanse and declutter our space and our mind. A great place to start is your closet because it is jam-packed with clothes that I haven't worn in years. It just takes up room, room that I could be used for other things like my Fashion Nova outfits. Just kidding, I don't even shop there, but just all this stuff that I don't need. Get rid of it. Okay, you don't need to be that aggressive. I just broke a hanger, which I kind of feel bad for, but moving along. All right, I got my items stacked aside, and normally I would drop off these items at a charity bin, but these items have actually been kind of difficult to part with because they're better quality and stuff that I've just had for years. So instead, as an incentive, I'm selling all of this stuff on Poshmark. You can check it out in the link below at Cheeky and Fleeky. I'm also selling this gray knit cardigan cardigans are really in right now but I actually don't wear it much so if you want to purchase it just again check out the link below Poshmark is an e-commerce website it also exists as an app where users can buy and sell items sometimes the items are brand new and at a discounted price I would say a lot of the items are used but in really good condition. Here's the peek at my closet. I have 39 items listed and I've actually already sold three items, which made me $60 richer. I do think it's worth the investment of time to do this because these are items that I'm not wearing anyway or was just gonna give away, so why not make some extra cash? This is not an ad, by the way. This is just something new that I've been doing in the new year, and I thought I would share it with you because I think a lot of people could benefit from it. It's fun, and I also like the concept of reusing used items. It's really good for the environment. So I'm ready for the gym, which means I'm ready to talk about my fitness plan. We all have fitness goals during the new year. Some of us want to lose weight, put on weight, um, gain more muscle, or just be healthier. For me personally, I love the weight that I'm at. Um, I feel good in it, but I want to put on a little bit more muscle. I'm a little weakling. So I stopped going to the gym once quarantine started because all the gyms were closed, but I recently resumed going and I actually love it because it's cold outside. Instead of doing my walks outside, I'll just walk on the treadmill for like 30 minutes to an hour or sometimes I'll do the elliptical and I'll be lazy and just watch stuff on my phone. This is kind of just like a warm up or like light cardio for me. I actually do my workout at home once I'm back from the gym. I got this really cool selfie stick because I left my ring light in New York, but look how cool. Now I can show you guys a full 360 view of my room. 
Anyway, let's hit the gym. I was at the gym for about 45 minutes. Now I'm walking home so I can finish my workout. I love doing my workouts at home because number one, it's super convenient. I can work out anytime. And number two, I really enjoy my privacy, especially when I'm doing like certain moves. I don't enjoy working out at the gym and having grown men like check me out. I didn't mind working out at the gym on campus in college because it's like other guys my age and there's hot girls everywhere so it's I don't know, I just feel felt more comfortable, but I don't really feel comfortable at my gym. Third, it is completely free, so there's literally no excuse for not being able to work out. You don't have to pay for a gym membership. If you do work out from home, you may want to invest in some equipment just to enhance your workout. Definitely have some sort of mat, like a yoga mat and have some free weights. I just have five pound weights. Something new I've been incorporating into my workouts and I highly recommend are these resistance bands. I got a set of three and they're all different resistances. It's gonna tone and shape your body. It's lightweight, easy to store. You don't need all those free weights to build muscle. They're easy to use and add so much versatility to your workout. I have been wearing this posture corrector, by the way, especially when I work out. I want to improve my posture this year. Good posture has so many benefits. First of all, you look confident when your shoulders are pushed back. It's a whole different person compared to when you're slouched down like this. It's just so unattractive. And I do that, I'm guilty of that. I realize how horrible it looks. I'm also having like 90 year old back pain and I'm only 24. So I want to decrease pressure on my lumbar spine and make sure that my discs have enough separation and prevent a possible herniated disc. With all that being said, let's get started with the workout. My workout space has changed. I replaced the furniture that was here with these nice, simple chairs. I love it. It looks super clean. workout for my booty and my thighs. I feel so good. Usually I'll only work out for like 10 to 25 minutes. I think the most important is to be consistent. 10 minutes a day is better than one hour a week. I like to focus on one body part a day so that my muscles can rest and repair in between workouts. So tomorrow I'll likely be doing abs and then the next day I'll do arms and shoulders. All right, we're in my kitchen, and that's because we're gonna be talking about diet. I am pescatarian, so I only eat fish and shrimp, but I do wanna incorporate more plant-based protein, so I've been eating more lentils, beans, tofu, um, and I also have the Impossible Burger here to try. We're gonna cook this up today, and I want more protein because my fitness goal is to build more muscle, not lose more weight. 
Unfortunately, I do not have a grill, so I'm using this flat pan. It's okay, use what you have. I added some oil, let it heat up for a few minutes, and then I'm gonna add my patty. Lop it out. While that's cooking, I'm putting my buns in the oven. Patties cooked up, I'm just adding some toppings. I already added some tomato, some onion. I don't think I know how to cut, cut onion properly, honestly. This is not good. And then I'm gonna add some pickles. For me, it's the pickles that makes the burger. This is what it looks like so far. So I'm just using some salad mix. Finish this baby off with some avocado. Let's try it. Oh. So good. It tastes like real meat. Mmm. So good. I've already eaten half of my burger in the kitchen, but I'm gonna go take my fat ass onto the couch and watch some Netflix. All right, guys, that's a wrap for this video. I hope you had a great start to your New Year's and achieve lots of abundance and success in your new year. I'm gonna get ready for bed. I'm gonna do my 10 step skincare routine. Just kidding, it's only like six or seven steps. Um, I'll be going into depth more about my skincare, how I cleared up my acne, and we'll do more videos on fitness and my diet plan because I know you guys like what I eat in a day videos and I know I can cook some really delicious new and creative meals. Sorry there's no cute little outro in this video but instead I'm going to rant and I'm gonna start by saying hopefully I get a new iPhone this year so I can film better quality content. I also would like to be able to speak better and like articulate what I wanna say, but also be myself and be able to share with you guys like my actual personality and not just have this kind of persona and I, I watch myself back and I see I'm not very expressive, but it's just because I'm like trying to focus on what I'm saying. So I know I have a lot to work on, but I'm making progress with every video I make and I think it's important to be proud of yourself in what you've accomplished. I'm trying to think of what else I wanted to say. Oh, um, I'm also going through uh, quarter life crisis because I'm like 24 years old. I just got fired from my job like a month ago. Um, so I haven't been employed, but I'm working on so many things. My focus is being a student, studying for my MCAT, getting into medical school. My lease is ending here soon. So I have to think about where I'm gonna live after my lease ends. And I was thinking about moving in with my friend Jackie and her roommate Nikita because their lease ends the same time mine does. Um, so it would really work out and it's like damn could I really picture myself living in New York City and I'm like fuck yeah like I want to do it and if I had the finances I know I would do it in a heartbeat but I know it's gonna be an upcharge from the rent that I'm paying now and I feel like I'm relying way too much on my parents um, I don't want to be a financial burden so I'm just going through a lot of changes and I know everyone else is going through changes as well. I'm not the only one, um, but it's important to know that everything's gonna be okay and change is good even if you feel uncomfortable and uncertain of where it's gonna lead you. Just believe that it's always gonna lead you in the right path and you deserve everything that you want. So with all that being said, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.